Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video of the Star Stable Experience. We are gonna jump right back in where we left off. Uh, only difference is I moved to Moreland rather than staying at the circus. So if you're excited about this, make sure you hit that like button and let's jump into it as soon as we give the baby girl a little treat because she can't not get one when we're recording, of course, because recording, streaming, anything, she has to come and get a treat. She needs her, her moment in the spotlight. You guys know that. This is her moment in the spotlight, right? Come here. Around there. Around here. Up ups. Up ups. Yeah. Hi. Nice. My love you. <laughs> love of my life. This dog right here. All right, here we are in game, guys. And uh, so I'd move to Moreland because I figure we still have a couple things over here to do. Uh, one of which being is a Loretta's racetrack here, the Bobcats track. So let's go ahead and do that uh, while we're here. Um, plus it'll also get some uh, reputation built up for that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus, of course, it's also good XP. So, hey, can't complain with that. Also, I can get that on my horse, too. I should probably do that in a second. Let's do it after this race, so I'm not, like, doing that while I'm in the race. <laughs> Let's not do that. That might probably is not a good idea. Probably. Because <laughs> oh. I'll run into something. I will run into something. Even though I'm doing this, I've done this track a million times, even though I'm going slower than I normally am, I will run into something. It is not hard for me to do. Not hard to do, gang. Ask Shasta. Oh, we got an achievement already, too, apparently. All right, nice. Don't know exactly what achievement that is, but hey, we got one. Cannot. Definitely am okay with that. <laughs> I've never actually worked a ton towards the achievements. I probably should maybe go look on my other account just to see what other ones maybe I could start working towards. You know, just for something else to do, you know? One of the, when, on the days when I'm sick of training, <laughs> you know? I, I'm terrible with training, guys. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, it's just... It's, it's not good. <laughs> I am so bad when it comes to actually doing my training. I'm so bad. And I did ignore the cat when I got on because I'm like, you know what, we'll, we'll do that in a little while. We'll do that when the time comes. All right, but here we go. Back already? Oh, maybe you do have some potential. You know where to find me if you want to try again. I do know where to find you if I want to try again. Uh, let's get the 200 here, though. Gotta level up Ruby. All right, and then we have another quest with them as well. So let's do this other one with her. The races I'll probably do, like, on my own time, you know? I'll probably work on those a little bit on my own time. Uh, one more thing, Sandra. Hey, Tan, come here a moment. We don't have any vacant spots in the Bobcat Club, and it's not like we can let just anyone join. We've got a reputation to uphold, after all. With that said, we do have a sweater in club colors that we would like you to have. It's an honor to wear Bobcat pink. We hope you'll represent us well, even though you're not an official part of the club. You know, you're pretty cool. Not Bobcat cool, but pretty cool. Maybe one day you'll be cool enough to really be one of us. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, if you don't mind, Bartok and I have a super serious competition to prepare for. I expect to see our faces on the front page of the Yorvik Gazette soon. Oh, I see Justin trying to get my attention. No doubt he missed me like crazy. It's exhausting being this popular. Bye. W w is he really trying to get your attention? <laughs> oh, goodness. You look great in this sweater, Sandra. Maybe someday you'll be in an official club jacket. There we go, though. We got the jacket, which I think it's better than what we have. So let's go ahead and put it on. Why not? I'm not a pink person by any means, but hey, it looks pretty good. So I will take it. Uh, absolutely. So let's see what else we got. We still have some more stuff over here. So let's kind of go over that way and see what we got. I think one is probably uh, with Conrad, I believe. And then the one, I don't know who this, this other one is, actually. Yeah, one's got to be with Conrad, I think. What's over here, though? I do want to... I'm kind of curious. What's over here? Oh, Syndra. Okay, we can't do that one yet, actually. Well, we can, I think, but we'd have to go the long way around, and I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Let's go talk to Conrad. What are you looking at, Shasta? 
She shifted like there's something out there. Probably a squirrel. <laughs> let's be perfectly honest. It's probably a squirrel. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Conrad here, though. Greetings, Sandra. I'm glad to see you so soon after your last visit. If you have some time to spare, I require your assistance. I mean, sure. Of course, you're already aware of the presence of GED in the area. Thomas Moreland is not the only one who had the misfortune of meeting their leader, Mr. Kembell. Mr. Kembell attempted to buy my forge while he was in the area. Naturally, like Thomas, I refused him. He did not appreciate the refusal. Of course he did not. His goons lingered in the area for a while, and after they left, I realized my most prized tools were missing. I don't use them daily, so it took me a while to realize they were gone. I work with other heavy tools, so I assume those pesky workers couldn't manage to move them very far. Probably not. <laughs> Please, will you help me look for my ha a hammer, a pickaxe, and a pair of clinchers? I am not able to leave the forge right now, but I promise you will be rewarded if you can assist me. Sure, let's go find them. Let's see, they're, they can't be far, of course. And they're not, obviously. Oh, one's all right. One is right here. Like, come on, it's right here. You clearly did not look that far. You clearly did not look that far at all. Okay, several people are running in place. I hope that's not a bad sign for me. <laughs> all right, we got the pliers. And then what's over here should be the hammer, right? Got him. Hey, Conrad, I found your tools. <laughs> found your tools, friendo. Okay, they're not running a place, so I'm okay. I'm okay, then. <laughs> My tools, you certainly are trustworthy, Sandra. The light of Idine truly shines upon you. I have one more task for you, and if you're up for it, I'll reward you with something for your horse. I mean, yeah. I spend much of my time working with ore and minerals from around Jorvik, blacksmiths from long before my time first settled here in Moreland to access the spectacular natural resources. There are a lot of hidden, of hidden treasures on this island. Some are as close by as Jar John Jarl's tomb, near Doyle's Abbey. Others are, are as the ancient dig sites down south in Nupona. Today, I need Jorvik ore, which can be mined close by. The da Damac Damask <laughs> Damacus Mine has provided this forge with resources for years upon years. I'm probably saying that entirely wrong, but it's fine. <laughs> Please take my pickaxe, go to the mine, and mine five pieces of your ore for me. I look forward to your return. All right, let's go then and mine some ore from the mine. Let's go mining. Time for a mining adventure. I wonder, is Cinder the one that unlocks Fort Pinta? We might try it after this, maybe. So this is Damacus Mine. I should do the mining on foot. It would be difficult to swing a pickaxe from horseback, especially in here. I mean, it absolutely would. That the, You'd be right there. You'd be right. Where's the... Oh, do I not... Okay, I don't do it. I, just think, I think I just click. Yes, I do. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. They've changed things, so... There we go. We got some there. Let's get some more... There we go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, gosh. I had dinner before this and still am finishing my uh, Dr. Pepper over here. I still have it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Time to head out. Return to Conrad. Conrad. Oh, Conrad, good sir. I found all your- I found the- I found the ore. I don't know why I talk like that when I'm referring to Conrad. I have no idea. I don't know why. I don't even know what accent it is. <laughs> I'm not good with accents, but I can do that. <laughs> Back so soon? And with plenty of your vigor. Well done, my young friend. I don't break promise easily, young Sandra. Come sit down. If you have the time to wait a moment, I'll use the ore you just brought me to make your horse some of the finest horseshoes you've ever seen. Absolutely. You've been, you have been of great help to the people of Moreland since your arrival here, Sandra. The spirit of Aideen is strong with you. Hmm. Yes, yeah, say Lyndon mentioned her earlier. Ah, Aideen. As I mentioned before, I am a keeper of Aideen. We keepers are part of an order dedicated to honoring the spirit of this mystical island. I'm sure you'll meet many of us as you explore Jorvik. It seems to me your horse is very fond of you already, even though you haven't traveled long together. I'm glad to see it. We keepers also honor the bond between human and horse. 
There is something special about the horses here in Jorvik. I have never met a horse with a dark soul, but the ones you meet here somehow seem more aware of the world. Their bond with their riders like I've never they ugh, I can't talk. They bond with their riders like I've never seen anywhere else. This is only the beginning, Sandra. I am intrigued to see how your bond with the horses of this island, not to mention the island itself, will grow stronger over time. Absolutely. And here we are. Thank you for lending me your ears for a while, Sandra. Though I live for my work, the forge can be a lonely place, and I appreciate your company. And as promised, here is a very fine set of your vegan horseshoes made from Jorvik, with Jorvik ore. Uh, these will never wear out, so they'll serve you on many adventures. Thank you very much, Conrad. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and put those on immediately, because they're definitely better than the starter horseshoes. And I guess we can talk to him again. One more thing before you leave. If you are ever, if you ever are in need of some more horseshoes, you can always come back here. Your needs for horseshoes might change, or you might want separate horseshoes if you ride different horses. No matter the reason, you're always welcome to my store. Today, I don't have a lot of options available for you, but my stock will expand soon. Awesome. Thank you, Conrad. Appreciate it. If I can, there we go. Thank you again for today, and I hope the horseshoes will serve you well. Please take this jacket too. An aspiring young druid with an interest in fashion gifted this to me. I believe she mixed up the measurements. I'm sure it will suit you better. Farewell, Sandra, until we meet again. All right, well, there we got a jacket from him now as well. Which I kind of honestly like better than the bobcat thing, so I'm going to put that on. I know we just got the bobcat thing, and the bobcat thing's better, but... Stat-wise, but I like this better, so I'm going to put this on. I go for looks, not for, you know, what works best with stats. Now, granted, if it has the cool look plus the stats that would be really awesome um let's see what's over here it might be the champ stuff i don't know i'm gonna check real quick i think it yeah it's the champ stuff isn't it it's the champ stuff uh yeah it's her okay so we're gonna wait to do that let's talk to Syndra. um actually there's a storage thing here though let's do that real quick let me store some stuff very quickly because uh we have a lot of things, and I am my inventory is filling up fast. <laughs> so yeah, let me do that real quick, and I won't bore you guys with this. I'm just gonna do it, and then I'll skip to when we start doing other stuff. Okay, guys, there we go. So that's all stored away. So that's taken away. Of my inventory will not fill up too terribly fast now. Hopefully, um, let's talk to Syndra. See if we can actually get to Fort Pinta by doing this quest. I don't know if we can. Um, maybe this is the quest we need to do to get there, though. I don't know. Hi there, you must be one of the new arrivals at Moreland Stables. I've been coming here for years, so if you have any questions about the area, just ask. I'm Cinder, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've been coming to Moreland Stables riding camp for so many years that if I, they had a punch card, by now I'd have earned a free horse. <laughs> I wish. There's no way Mr. Moreland would just give a horse away. <laughs> Actually, we're here on a second thought, never mind. Yeah, horses aren't cheap. I, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> it's okay. I saved up to buy a horse of my very own. And besides, Mr. Moreland says that he's run out of things to teach me here at the stables. Time to seek out new pastures. Go for it, Syndra. Thanks. That's why I'm on my way to exotic Fort Pinta. Have you heard of the place? It's a seaside paradise with rich history and horses galore. They even have a disco. Once I get there, I plan to buy the horse I've always dreamed of. The only thing is, I sort of got lost. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you a lift up on. <laughs> you do that for me? Thanks. Thank you so much. Next stop, Fort Pinta. I think this is the quest to get through there, probably. This is what makes sense that it would be. So, it would make sense. It would make sense. I guess we'll see if the road is unblocked. Oh yeah, the bazaar is over here too. I completely forgot. <laughs> forgot the bazaar is still going on this week. Oh, it's open. He cleared his stuff out. He cleared it out. And there's a bunch of horses right there. <laughs> I think that's part of a quest we'll do here soon, too, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a little while. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Oh, it's been a little while. But this is technically, like, the next, like, the second big area in the game would be Fort Penta. Now, granted, we've been to a little bit. We've been to Silverglade, but we left immediately. <laughs> we basically left immediately. So, yeah, but this is the other area that would be non-Star Rider. So, 
This is an area for that, so. I also love Fort Penta. This is where my home stable was for years. <laughs> and I do mean years. It was here for a long time. Here we go. Oh, hello. Jitterbug. <laughs> I love him. Whoa, stop right there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to get off your horse and come with me. To count for your rule breaking. What rule breaking? You're in violation of statute 46B of the Fort Penta Code of Horsemanship. What's the, what? What was I riding too fast? You probably were. That means you were also in violation of statute 17C. Oh no. Let's see now. That's 7,000 shillings for riding double in a single zone. 3,500 shillings for speeding. Oh, Sandra, this is all my fault. You only came here to help me. I'll pay the fines. Ah, ah. And a 15,000 fine for attempted tempting transfer fines without authorization. Oh dear, I'll do what I can, but no buts. 4,000 shillings for shilling fine for saying but. Ah, <laughs> uh, but don't test me. I can tell I'm dealing with a couple of real troublemakers. You need to report to the Minister of Tourism at once. He'll know oh, how to deal with you lot. Look who it is. <laughs> He's the real troublemaker, let's be honest. He's the real one. He's the real troublemaker. Like, come on. Come on. You can't fool me. He's the real troublemaker over here. Hi, James. <laughs> the Minister of Tourism? You're looking at him. It's me, James Cloudmill. Oh, jeez. <laughs> of course. So what, bring, what brings you to the Minister of Tourism? I'm a busy man, you know? These lawbreakers are in numerous violations of Fort Pence's rules and regulations. Is that so? Aren't you a bit young for a minister of anything? James was appointed by our fair town's beloved Mayor Peanut. You wouldn't dare question the mayor, would you? Dude, I got this. Go keep an eye on the disco or something. Sorry, minister. Of course, minister. <laughs> so, let me guess. Captain Waterloo over there picked you up on some silly offense. Is this a trick? <laughs> trick? Do I look like a joker to you? Wait, don't blame Sandra. I'll cover the fines. From what the security guard said, I should owe 29,500 shillings. He left off the notarizing fee, so let's just call it an even 50,000. Wait, what? Hey, don't look at me like that. It's the mayor's rules. I'm just a humble civil servant, sworn to uphold them. No, I was hoping to buy a new horse with these savings, but... So you like horses, eh? Then I have just the job for you two. There's a boatload of tourists docking in 15 minutes, and all my rental horses are out to pasture. If those tourists show up and the horses aren't ready, it will totally ruin their vacations. That's so sad. How can we help? The two of you are going to fetch them for me. I'll even let you ride one back, Syndra. <laughs> I like to let my horses relax in a pasture close to the Pony Championship. Okay, technically they're inside Ferdinand's pasture. Trust me, he and I have an arrangement. My horses are good for his business at Marley's Vintage Barn, so he loves to keep them around. Just get the horses, and if Ferdinand says anything, tell him James sent you. Got it? Collect horses. This is the job I was born to do. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> Bring those horses back here ASAP, and maybe I can talk to the mayor about reducing your fines. <laughs> and, yep, this is the quest with the horses out there. Okay. Oop, that's a box. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're all good. Oh... Uh... It is interesting to see the slight differences, though, because, of course, beforehand, the horses out here, you know, they, they changed some things around out here. Ferdinand's Market isn't even over here anymore, but it's still Ferdinand's Pasture, technically. But they've put, added in the, that it's over at Marley's Barn now, which is kind of cool. Kind A nice little detail that they added. I like that. I like little things, <laughs> as you guys can't already tell. I like the little things. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go. This is the place. Are you ready to take the horses back, James? It's funny, I've been here so many times and always assumed these horses belong to Ferdinand. Who would have guessed he was borrowing them from James? Something tells me James is the one doing the borrowing. 
Really? But he seems so sincere. Hold it right there. What are you two doing with those horses? James sent us. James, well, all right then. Go ahead and take the horses out of their ex out for their exercise. And you let James know I haven't forgotten what I owe him. I will deliver his payment at the end of the week. I knew we could trust James. Really? <laughs> Let's get these horses back to Fort Pinto before the tourists arrive. Okay, there's one there. We gotta get them all here. All right, get them all, get them all, get them all going. Come on, move, buddy. We just gotta kind of stay behind the one that's at the back, essentially. And they should all kind of go on the same, a similar path. But the thing is, of course, we stay behind the one that, that's at the back and we are also going the slowest. So, yay. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get there eventually, gang. We'll get there eventually. Keep going, you guys. See, those two are all the way up there. <laughs> those two are all the way up there. All the way. They're keeping up with Syndra. Meanwhile, my two are sla are lagging behind. <laughs> I guess Syndra is riding their friend. <laughs> These two just must be buddies. They just want to stick together. <laughs> They're just having a grand old time right here. I am close to them. I'm just not close to those two up there. <laughs> Cinder's got those two. It's fine. She's got those two. I got these two. Oh, that one's going way off course. Doesn't... Does one of these turn and go the other way? Okay, no. Oh, oh yep. There it went. There it went. Okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta get one at a time now. All right. These two buddies decided they want to split up, I guess. And Cinder just took off without me. Come on. Go see your buddy. Go see your friend. I also love, though, this one's a Mustang. Love me the Mustangs. They're my favorite horse breed in the entire game. Okay, of course we gotta go around the rocks. We gotta be difficult. We can't just, you know, take the same path everywhere. No, we have to be difficult. Come on, buddy. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, bud. <laughs> Let's go. I still love Fort Penta. I still love it. Can I just, like, go this way and then they won't, they'll keep going, both of them? Okay, that one doesn't. Come on. There you go, bud. Go join your friend. <laughs> go join your friend. And now they're gonna split up again, right? <laughs> they're gonna split up again. Yeah, there we go. There they go. Hey, you. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Uh. Uh, it's slow going. It's slow going, gang. But we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Eventually. Eventually we will get somewhere. <laughs> it's just like, what is she looking at? There's nothing there. She just is staring out at the yard. Referring to my dog. That's who I'm referring to. For those who may be new and don't know, I'm referring to my dog. Because she just kind of, she sits here and looks out this, my side, I have a glass door in the backyard here. So 
She just kind of lays there and stares outside. That's what she does. <laughs> but that's okay. She's having a great time. <laughs> She's having a great time, just like we are, except these horses are kind of slow. I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, I do need to get a new outfit, probably, for my character and my horse. And I mean, I have... I mean, I have a good amount of shillings. Of course, I have a bunch of star coins, too. So, because I did get the lifetime, so I got... The star coins that came with it, so that's maybe something we want to look into here soon. I don't know just yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We do also have the uh, the lifetime store, which we can go to. So I don't know. We could try that. Here we go. We got them all back. Oh, it took forever. <laughs> Good timing. The tourists are almost here. Congratulations, friends. You saved their vacations. So about the fines you owe me. <laughs> I'm happy to knock off a few hundred shillings from your fines. Of course, when you add the rental fee for Cinder riding the horseback. Rental fee? But I thought... Cinder, Cinder. These are rental horses. You ride one, you have to pay my very fair rates. I'm sorry, no exceptions. That puts your bill at 92,871 shillings. Oh my god. I can't pay that. Surely there's something you can do to lower the fines. Please, Mr. Clotmill. Hmm. I suppose you'll just have to work for me until you've paid off what you owe. What have a stable that... We have a stable that needs tending to, and a race that needs an organizer. If you work for, let's say, 50, 47 years, yeah, that should be enough to cover your fines. No, that's off. This is awful. <laughs> say you're a fraud. <laughs> should, I, should I just outright accuse him? You're a fraud. Yeah, I'm gonna... Fraud? What... You can't talk to me like that. I'm the Minister of Tourism. The mayor put me in charge. I'll give this mayor a piece of my mind. <laughs> See the mayor? Fine. But I'm warning you, he's no one to be trifled with. <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> Make way for Fort Pinta's pride and joy. Mayor Peanuts. <laughs> the mayor is a pony? Indeed I am. A talking pony. <laughs> oh my god, Syndra, Syndra, don't, don't, no, Syndra. <laughs> James tells me and your friend owe 92,871 shillings. I demand payment. I demand payment. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can get a horse XP. Hang on. Well, I'm apparently not close enough. We'll get it in a minute. If you cannot settle your fines, the girl Syndra will be forced to work at the Minister of Tourism's pleasure until the debt is paid. This all seems very suspicious. I need to find where James went off to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey James, where'd you go? James! <laughs> Is anyone over here? I want to say... No, no one's over there. Okay. Uh, there's just that little cubby hangout area. Oh, well, look, there he is. What are you doing here? Jig is up for your scam, Cloud Mill. Scam? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? He pays me to exercise his horses. Tourists pay me for a chance to ride them. Everyone wins. Now, shouldn't you be listening to Mayor Peanut? You do not want to get on his bad side. Just you speaking into the walking talkie. What? That's crazy. He's a talking pony. It's true. Ask all the people who voted for him. Then why are you holding a walkie talkie? Oh, you're right. Please don't tell anyone. It's all I have. <sighs> it started out so innocently. I put a walkie talkie in a cute little top hat on a pony and Peanut, the po talking horse, was born. I'd hide in the bushes while Peanut would talk to tourists. It was such a... It was a huge success. Everyone loved Peanut. So when Fort Penta held elections, I figured, why not run Peanut for mayor? I could make a mint-selling vote Peanut t-shirts. It was all a joke. I didn't think he'd actually win. <laughs> so when he did win, there was only one thing left for me to do. Tell the truth? <gasps> and give up all that power? Are you crazy? I couldn't let them know he's just a regular pony. I had the newly elected Mayor Peanut appoint me Minister of Tourism. That way, I could run things while Peanut lounged around the stables eating hay or whatever. 
Let Cinder Hoss the hook. She loves horses. Okay, okay, if you promise to tell every anyone the truth about Mayor Peanut, I'll make things right with her. You have my word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five minutes later. Cindra. Please, Mayor Peanut, what have I done to offend you this time? Rise, Cindra. I have misjudged you. I see now that your heart is pure and that you love horses more than anyone else in Yorvik. It's true, I do. Silence. Because of your true heart, I am appointing you Minister of Horses. From this day forth, you will manage the stables in Fort Pinza and administer the local races. It would be an honor, Mayor Peanut. Minister of Horses, imagine that. Just wait till the girls back home hear about this. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then five minutes later. <laughs> so, I trust everyone's happy now. <laughs> oh, sorry about the misunderstanding. I see you're more clever than the typical tourist. Let's stay in touch, Sandra. I have a feeling we're going to make a lot of shillings together. <laughs> all he thinks about is money. <laughs> it's all he ever thinks about. All right. So we're just about, I think, ready to end this episode off. But I think this is the race. Yes. The scenic circuit. The posters are in place. VK a Ray K is trending. The Fort Pence scenic circuit is going to be huge. Now all I need is for an influencer to give the race a try and start spreading the word. My sister has some friends who are a pretty big deal in the comp competition scene, but she's not returning my messages. Hmm. I suppose I could go with a different approach. Sandra, the new face of racing in Yorvik. A real... Uh... It, in what? Ingenue. I have no idea. I'm probably saying that entirely wrong. It's been a long day, gang. <laughs> I love it. Just try to look cool so I can get some good footage for my streams. That means no noobing around and running into walls. Ruby Dreamer, are you two ready? But if you're not running into things, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> if you're not running into things, you're doing it wrong, Syndra. <laughs> Always doing it wrong. Can I get the bottle? I can, haha, and not run off the edge. <laughs> there we go. I didn't run off the edge. We're fine. We're fine. Oh. I love the music they put in the background of this race now, too. It's... <sighs> Granted, I love Lisa's songs in general. <laughs> I love all the Star Sable songs. Let's be honest. I love them all. But... Lisa's especially, I think, are my favorite. I might be biased. I might be a little biased, because... I don't know. It, Lisa, for a while, like, was my favorite soul rider. She still is on, like, top. Like, I don't know who my favorite favorite is, you know? Like, out of all of them, who I would pick to be my favorite. Uh, because I love them all. Uh... <laughs> for different reasons. I love them all for different reasons. So I don't know who my favorite is. <laughs> There's your question of the day, guys. Who's your favorite soul rider? There's your question of the day. Not that we've ever done questions of the day, but maybe we should. Maybe we should. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite soul rider and why. See, I, I don't know. Because like I relate to several of them in multiple ways. So... So yeah, it's hard for me to pick. It's very hard for me to pick. Because Lisa, I share her love for music. Linda, I love like manga and anime and all that stuff and writing. Love all that. Love books. And then Alex is like kind of the tomboy, the funny, like, you know, one. I, I love I love her for that, you know? I don't know. I love her story. So it's hard. It's hard, gang. It's hard. And Anne, I love as well. I just don't know as much with her. Like, we're still kind of getting to know her a bit more. So, yeah. This race is great, right? I caught some great footage of you and Ruby Dreamer. James wants me to post on Mayor Peanut's feed. Something to do with brand awareness. If you want to try the track again for a high score, I put up a race board over there. And if you're looking to train your horse, hit me up and I'm sure I can squeeze you in for a daily training sesh. All right, and our character, we have reached level six. Awesome. Well, definitely I think that is a good spot uh, to end this part off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button before you go. Also hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you want to see more fun content. But with that, guys, I will see you all next time.